living as a nomad is somewhat living by chance. The only certain plan is to keep on moving, hoping that the next place I'll call home offers what my soul desires. Usually solitude immersed in nature, far away from society's noise. Living as a solo nomad makes me vulnerable, not only to my environment and strangers, but also to my own actions and decisions. Sure, I could find something to blame other than myself, but those days are behind me. I'm here to grow and accept. I accept that this was my biggest stupidity. Going alone without off-road experience was my biggest mistake yet because it could have cost my life. The trails look easy on the map, but what do I know about maps and topography? I knew that this area has so many attractions and I had not seen any because it was too hot to do anything outdoors. I was getting anxious and decided to explore in the Jeep the day before leaving this gorgeous area. This is the day I could have died at the Superstitions Mountains foothills. Little did I know that the Superstition Mountains holds incredible history and legends of massacres, hidden treasures, murders, and Apaches protecting the area. Can you hear the wind? I am applying sunscreen because I want to go on a hike, but it's so hot that I don't know if I can even do that. So at least I want to go off-roading in the Jeep and I don't have anyone to go with so I'm just gonna take a chance and see how it goes because I'm planning of leaving tomorrow and I haven't done much around here would you like to come with me on a little trip of I don't know what I'm gonna be doing but Come with me, come, come, come. And we start with the fact that I don't know anything about off-roading. I brought my little air compressor just in case. So wish me luck. This is the road getting out of my sight. And it's a little bit of off-roading, or maybe a lot of off-roading. And believe it or not, I brought the Jeep all, I mean the Jeep, the uh, RV, all the way over here as well. But I unhooked the RV from the Jeep, or the Jeep from the RV, to come all the way up here. I came to explore this area yesterday and it is, I'm gonna say maybe medium off-roading. I don't know if that means anything in the off-roading world, but for me, it was a little bit risky maybe, but not too bad. The reason I'm taking it again is because I'm hoping that it loops to the Peralta trailhead so I can do the hike. The road is rough as you can tell. I think this is the scariest part. At least of the area that I tried yesterday. Is this what you call crawling? I'm crawling, right? It is a little bit of a workout <laughs> because you have to keep your torso firm. I don't know anything about off-roading. This is my rookie feelings and experiences, but I'm having a good time and I'm not afraid. 
I have protection, I also have the air compressor. I may even have some cell service still. How fun is this? Like, I don't know what is ahead. I see some weird terrain ahead of me. But I actually, when I go up the hill, during the sunset, I go that way. And I look down here, and I've seen other jeeps, so if they can do it, I think I can do it too. Let me keep playing. Okay, very slow. No, I can't talk right now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so difficult. Oh, shoot. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ah! I freaking did it. Woo, what a rush. Woo, let's go for more. My heart is pumping. Woo. Mm, this is what uh, off-roading is like, huh? Woo, my heart is pumping. I don't know, you guys, I don't know if this is gonna continue. My only worry is that I'm here alone if I get a flat tire. I don't know if I have reception still. The last time I checked, I did full bars and I don't know if it's gonna get any rougher and I don't know if I'm closer to my location so I guess I'm gonna stop somewhere and figure things out also it is 93 degrees and windy my only concern is getting stuck that's all I'm not worried about flipping or falling off a bank because there's none of that but there's a lot of cacti of course but uh I'm not worried, I'm just having a good time. And wow, what an adrenaline, wow. And this is, I bet this is a, some kind of workout, you guys, because you're cardiovascular when you get pumping. So it's about 21 miles per hour winds. I don't really feel them. In the Jeep, there's no way to turn for me, so I'm gonna keep at it and see what happens. I'll report as I go. I don't think I have much of a choice of where to go because look, look at that road over there. That's really not a road. <laughs> and if it is, I'm not taking it. So this one here, I think is the way I'm gonna go. I don't like to be outside for too long today for a couple reasons. One is super, super hot. And the other is, I don't know who's around. <laughs> I know there is a guy on the run. I don't know if they have gotten him. I always think this would be a really good hideout. So I always, I'm always watchful. I think it gets very rough again. This is just a campsite. Yep. But I think we're going down the hill. So let's go down the hill. We're already in it, right? Let's commit to it. All right. I don't know about this. Shoot. Ah! You see? Thank goodness my Jeep is so, so little. Because, shoot. Oh my goodness, I've never done this before. Claudia, what the heck are you doing? Oh my goodness. Okay. Shoot. You guys, the heck? I don't think I can do... <gasps> I don't think I'm supposed to be here. There's no way. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to go down there without flipping? You guys, I'm gonna die. I'm freaking shaking. My phone died because it is so hot that the phone needed to cool down. And I was faced, oh my gosh. I was faced with no choice but to go 90 degrees vertical. I 
had no choice. I have never find myself in that situation where I had no choice and go vertically 90 degrees. I didn't like that. I did not like that part because I had no choice and no one to encourage me or no one to tell me that I was doing right or wrong. And I had no choice. I'm gonna to have to take you and walk it with you because the scale of things, it is impossible to comprehend unless you're here. <sighs> Whatever you see is a hundred times worse. No, and I'm not kidding. It's, oh, I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, I'm happy that I'm alive. I'm happy that the Jeep didn't roll over. Uh, there was two opportunities where I was hanging hanging on one side of the Jeep. And I didn't know if I was gonna flip. And I'm gonna show you. But it won't be the same as you being here. And if you have done this one, if you recognize the area, you probably know what I'm talking about. And all that I can say is I'm glad that this is a small Jeep and that I also saw other Jeeps coming because otherwise, I don't think I would have come. This is, this is not level medium anymore. And you guys tell me what you think. I'm gonna take you there. I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm standing here by my Jeep and I'm at the bottom of this hill. You don't see any road, right? Yeah, because there isn't. Look, look at this. We're gonna walk over there and I'll show you, but that's what I came from crazy let's go over there don't you think this is not intermediate I did this I came through this I mean to me well so that's where the Jeep is and I'm not even half the way to the hill so I'm just walking it and it's difficult I mean, I had no choice but to come down here. Look at this. You see that? Crazy, huh? Yep. And I was hanging where you see this middle area here. I was hanging in one wheel, one tire, because I took, oh shoot, so I almost fell. Because it's so vertical. And yeah, over here, you see this little bump right there. I took that and I should have taken this. It's a little smoother going down. This is just abrupt. But this is the one I took thinking I'm gonna go this way, which is seem flatter, but it didn't work out that way. Yep, so I was hanging in the air, almost flipping in this area here. I don't know, for me, this is a big deal. Crazy, crazy off-roading that I wasn't prepared for. And I'm truly hoping that, gosh, I feel I'm gonna fall. I'm truly hoping that I don't have another one like that. Well, at least I know that I can do it, right? Maybe that's how it goes. That's how we learn. You just throw yourself in the water and figure it out. Wow, this is gorgeous. Hard by gorgeous, let me flip you around. Look at that view. How beautiful. Can you believe this is the desert? I'm feeling that the bad part is over with. 
or the worst part, so to say, or the most fun part, I don't know, depends on who you are. If you're a rookie, that, that part maybe was the hardest one. So we'll see what this one looks like. I wanted to go on a loop, and I don't know. I think I'm going on a loop. Fun, 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 huh? It's pretty, but it's really hot. It wasn't the last hard part, as you can tell. But, oh, oh, I... All right. So, I was saying earlier that one of the things that I have learned about off-roading is take it slow. But now I'm learning that not always. <laughs> Sometimes you need to give it some power to the machine. <sighs> so the part that I was saying that it was the most difficult that I've done so far is true. But as you can tell, whole thing is not easy. <laughs> so at the beginning I was yeah this is like intermediate. Maybe that area where I was. <laughs> but it didn't stay the same. But you know I am getting to know my Jeep's capabilities and I wouldn't know it I wouldn't know them if I didn't put it to the test, right? So, little Jeep, so far so good. Do I want to go which way? This looks like private property here with a fence. It doesn't say do not enter and it doesn't say private property and it's only the little area that is fenced off but not closed off so I will continue and if I see anything that tells me I shouldn't be here then I will figure it out and get out of here work. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. Wrong turn. to see where other people went and ho hope for the best. I'm so glad 
now that this jeep is lifted, I can you imagine? I see a car on front, so I just want to be safe and in case it's the boogeyman, he'll be on video for you. It is an Arizona plate. I want to see which road should I take. Oh crap. Maybe I should have taken the other one. Everything that goes up must come down. Woo. According to the map, I'm very close to civilization. Yep, I see some houses. I think I have made it. Oh, scratch, scratch. I'm sorry, Jeep. Yep, these are homes. Find the road. Woohoo! Beautiful Southwest home with a beautiful airstream. This is so gorgeous. I hope I'm not bothering them. I wonder if they're used to this. Whoa. That was so... Uh, oh, my Jeep is getting scratched. Okay, I need to find my road. Because, um... Oh, crap. All right, let me figure this out. I don't know if this is gonna take me anywhere, actually. I'm almost to the main road and just before I get there, look what I see. Let's see if we can find this right there. That's the meaning. I wanted to go on a hike to the middle but it's still 93 degrees. It's too hot to be outside. And even though there's a little breeze, it's still too hot. It's not good, it's not fun either. So I'm just gonna go home and start packing because I think I'm gonna leave this area tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the high desert where it's cooler. Well, 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 they did. We are gonna be doing well. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Bye.